two integrals on the spot. The first one, the integral 1 over 1 plus x squared in the parentheses and then raised to 3 over 2 power. And the second one, the integral of ln of 1 plus x squared. They both have 1 plus x squared, but what do you think? Okay, even though they both have 1 plus x squared, however, the way to do them are totally different. Let's look at this one first. We have 1 plus x squared and then raised to the 3 over 2 power. I'm going to use trick substitution right here. And the things that we know is that, you see, we have two terms inside, right? And then this is the square, and we know an identity that 1 plus tangent square theta, that will give us secant square theta. And you see, if I let x equals to tangent theta, then the inside is going to be secant square theta, and then secant square theta raised to the 3 over 2 power, the power will work out nicely, right? However, you can see now, I'm not going to use this approach with ln of 1 plus x squared. I do not want to put a trig function inside of an ln. That's really bad. But let's not talk about this at the moment. Let's focus on this right now. So let's put this down all the work. x is equal to tangent theta, and then differentiate this equation, we get dx equals to the derivative of tangent theta is secant squared theta d theta. So now we can take this integral into the theta world. This is the integral of 1 over, and you know the deal already, 1 plus x squared, where x is tangent theta, it's going to give us secant squared theta, so let's just put that down. In the parentheses, secant squared theta, and then this is still raised to the 3 over 2 power, and the dx is the secant square theta d theta. And now what? This is the square, and then we have the 3 over 2 power. This 2 and that 2 will cancel each other out, right? So you see, this is going to be the integral of 1 over secant to the third power in the denominator theta, and then we still have to multiply secant squared theta d theta. And then, of course, we can cancel them out. But then we have one more left, 1 over secant theta, like this, d theta. This part right here, it can be easy or it can be hard. The hard part is that you didn't see the easy part. What's secant? Secant is 1 over cosine. And now, what's 1 over secant then? It's just cosine, right? So this is the same as saying we want to integrate cosine theta d theta. And let's do the work. We know this is going to be what? Negative or positive? Positive. Positive sine theta, because the derivative sine theta is going to give us positive cosine theta. And then, we're not done yet, I'm going to take this back to the x world. Well, how can I do that? I'm going to utilize this equation here, I'm going to put this down right here. Tangent theta is equal to x over 1, and based on this, we can draw a right triangle. Draw a right triangle this way, put the right angle here, and then the angle theta is right here. And tangent is what? Tangent is opposite, which is right here, over adjacent, which is 1 right here. And now, how can we complete this triangle? Well, complete this triangle, we have to figure out the hypotenuse. And this is going to be 1 plus x squared. And don't forget to take the square root, right? All right, look at this triangle, and then figure out sine of theta. The angle is right here. Sine is opposite of hypotenuse, so we have x on the top over that, which is over square root of 1 plus x squared. That's it. Plus c, and then we are done. And now let's focus this one right here, and let me first draw a divider in between. Well, I really don't want to use the same approach because I really cannot put a secant square inside of the ln. So that's out of the consideration. And can I use u sub? No, because I don't have an x right in front, so it does not help me out right away. So now what? u sub doesn't work, trick sub doesn't work, of course it's not partial fraction. Why don't we give integration by part a try? Because we can totally differentiate anything, right? And we can look at this as 1 times this. So we can differentiate this guy and then integrate 1. Anyways, let's do the integration by part with the di method. So let's differentiate something and integrate something, and don't forget the plus, minus, in between. I think two rows should be enough. So I want to differentiate this ln of 1 plus x squared, and then I want to integrate just 1, okay? And then integrating 1 is easy, it's just x. And when I differentiate this guy, I get 1 over the inside, which is 1 plus x squared. But don't forget, we still have to do the chain rule. 
derivative of 1 plus x squared, which is going to be 2x. And we know the product of the diagonal right here is the first part of the answer. So we do pass the ln of 1 plus x squared times x, and let's put down the x first. This is the first part of the answer, x times ln, parentheses 1 plus x squared. And then keep in mind, the product of each row it is still an integral. So right here, I'm going to multiply this and that together, and that's minus. So we are going to subtract an integral, and then the 2x is technically on the top. 2x times x, we get 2x squared. That's on the top. Over 1 plus x squared. dx. So we run through the integration by part one time, and you see we end up with the integral that we can actually do. So we can just do it. So now, how can we do this integral, right? Let's take the 2 in the front, so we have negative 2, and then integral, and this is x squared over 1 plus x squared dx. As you can see, we have a rational function here, and then the degree on the top is the same degree on the bottom, so we can do long division first, but we can do it this way. Wouldn't it be nice if I can just plus 1 right here, so that this is just 1, but then I cannot do that. I have to make sure minus 1, so I can pretend nothing happened. So we do the plus 1, minus 1, and you see this is going to be still minus 2 all the way in the front. The first part is 1, right? This is just 1. And then minus 1 over 1 plus x squared. And then you know this is pretty much negative, and then we can integrate this now. The integral of 1 in the x world is just x, and then this right here is just the inverse tangent, and that's minus. So at the end, we just pretty much put all the answers together. The first part of the answer is x times ln, parentheses 1 plus x squared. And then this right here is the result of this integral, and we have the negative right here already. So be sure you distribute the negative into this parentheses. So negative 2 times x, we have negative 2x, and then negative 2 times that, which is going to be positive 2. And then we have the inverse tangent x right here. And then we are done. So put a plus c. That's it.